I'm Dan Benhart, Product Support Specialist at Minitoyo America Corporation. Today we're going to talk about basic use and maintenance of our thickness gauges as requested by one of our customers on social media. Before use, clean the spindle with a lint-free cloth. Make sure that a washer is used between the spindle and the lifting lever. Take care not to loosen any of the retaining screws unnecessarily. This includes the indicator retaining screw, screw at the top of the spindle, spin the screw that holds the spindle lifting lever in place, the contact point, the anvil, and the four screws that hold the back onto the indicator. Move the spindle slowly through its full range and check for any sticking or jamming. And lastly, check that the indicator reads zero when the spindle and the anvil are in contact with each other. If they're not, just press the origin button, it's the big blue button at the center of the indicator, hold it for about two seconds, and that should reset your zero. During use, do not move the spindle rapidly. You want to avoid applying any force to the spindle in the transverse direction. If the zero point gets displaced during measurement, it must be reset before proceeding. Do not attempt to change the contact point from the flat type that comes with the gauge. If replacement is needed, please contact Mitotoyo. If the gauge is in use for an extended period of time, you will need to reset the origin frequently to compensate for thermal expansion of the frame. When you finished your measurements, check the gauge for any signs of damage, and if any is found, arrange for repair or replacement. Clean the gauge, but do not lubricate the spindle. To ensure that the contact point and the anvil do not ring together, place a piece of lightly oiled paper between the contact point and the anvil prior to storage. Store the gauge in a room free from excessive heat, moisture, dust, and oil mist. For further information or to download our checkpoints for measuring instruments brochure, please visit www.mitotoyo.com or contact your local distributor.